Here we are, everyone. We are going to do some side stuff while we wait for the game day to pass. Uh, for now, we are heading down to buy a Roland Berry. Hopefully they have some. <laughs> What's the other way to get it? Uh, it's there... the only way. What? Yeah. Someone has to have it first. Uh, we had um, help from Lady Reaper. Yeah, but how'd they get it? Probably doing this. Wait, but how does it get to the auction house in the first place? Uh, it's a rolling berry. Yeah, I mean, oh, you want to know how to get the rolling berry? Uh, yeah. you can, actually, it'd probably be better for us to go to Opera Juno. Because you can just buy it from an NPC there. Yeah, why don't we do that? It's better than going to the auction house, we'll probably get gouged. How much more is it all in Opera Juno? How much is it in Opera Juno? Uh, they don't actually say. But we'll go to home point one in Upper Juno. The reason we need this thing is because we need a gate that called the Three Mage Gate, which requires three mages. Or the Portal Charm, which is what we're gonna go get now. Alright, so we're looking for an NPC named Gecko. Hmm, this isn't him. It says he's at H8. I well, figures he's way down at the... This is the NPC I was probably thinking of last time. Anyway, I'm pretty certain Fenrir is in the game now. Okay, so it says he's at H8 and his name is Gecko. Maybe in here? Not in there. That's Guzlum. What? Okay. You can click this door. Mm -hmm. Where is this guy? I'm a loser. Okay, I was looking at the one in Rulard Gardens. So technically it's Rulard Gardens? No, no, there's one in Upper Juno, it's just... What? This... The same person? Different NPC. Champalpew. We need a rolling bear. Oh, 120 gold. Gil? Okay. I don't know. Now we go back to Windowish Walls and we go turn this into Kapippi. Going to home point one in Winders Falls. you up inside the tree. <laughs> this is the tree that we're heading to here. Yeah. The buildings and shit built into it.
Alright. Now, Kapippi was in one of the side rooms, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she was like... I don't remember exactly where, but... Clerical chamber, maybe? Ah, oh, there she is. What, would you trade it to her? Uh, I think so. She didn't do anything. Oh, we have to finish Winter's Mitten Mission 3-2. Oh, no. Well, we can't do Winter's Mission C-3-2. So, unfortunately, we can't do Fenrir without somebody having the, uh... Aw. So we need to find something else to do. What can we do? There should be a, like a ramen mount. There should be a ramen mount? Yeah. Uh, let's see. We could go back and beat up monsters in one of the dynamis if you want. Okay. Okay. Dynamis. Let me look up which one we haven't done. So we did Dynamis Winders, Sindoria, Bastok. Uh, you know, we were working on Bosadine, I think. So let's see about going there until the next game day. How do we get access to it, though? That's the question. Ah, entered via trail markings at Bosadine Glacier F11. So, let's go grab uh, the book to Bosadine Glacier. And our objectives are to defeat Angra Mainu. Okay. To the teleport point thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to Northern Sandoria. Oh, it shouldn't take too long to get there. It's just down to the right. Let's do some 
time since we've had to go to the future version of Bosidine. Yeah, right. says that you're coming into the area. There you are. <laughs> I have arrived. I see you. Alright, so we won't be in this Dynamis for very long. It's only nine in-game hours left until uh, the next day. So we're just going to come in here, beat up a few monsters, and see if we can spawn Anger Mania. Trail markings. Excellent. Alright, so it's been a little bit since we've done Dynamis, but whatever. Hi, Ogami Chiro, how you doing? Long time no see. Thank you for retweeting my uh, Dragon Quest X uh, localization thing. Uh, we need more people aware and doing it so that uh, fans like me can get a uh, localization. All right, silly. Who do we want to summon to fight with us? Naturally, we're going to summon Valeneral and Karamara. And we'll summon Kultata. I understand that. Got to keep busy too, right? All right, silly. Who should we summon as our last DPS? Uh... Let's see. This is a good one. Someone we don't normally summon. How about... Um... How about... Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Alright, let me find him in my list here. Pretty sure I have Gilgamesh. Should. Yeah, there he is. All right, everyone, Gilgamesh the Destroyer is here. You've got the same look as me daughter. All right. More options are definitely good. I agree. So, yeah, that, that's my hope, is to get more Final Fantasy X and more people taking part in it and getting that campaign going. Silly, you've submitted a ticket, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I got it. I think I did that. Because there was one I was on vacation, so I don't quite remember that. Walk of Echoes. I don't know what Walk of Echoes is. You'll have to explain that.
Vanguard Smithy. Goblin Replica. I'm not sure that's a good replica. Ginuva's Battle Theory. I don't know what the hell that is. Alright, so to spawn Angra Manu, we need... Uh... Leering Bijou. Oh, Angra Manu is going to be a pain to beat, too, because when his HP drops below uh, 25%, he chain casts uh, death. So we just have to get him to, like, 30%. And then just use as many things as we can at once. <laughs> That's the strategy. Uh, it's a battlefield from Wings of the Goddess. You accept it in Zarkabard South by HP home point. Okay, uh, we'll keep that in mind for next time we need to kill some time. We don't actually expect anything to come of uh, this right now. Like I said, we're just here to beat up some monsters while we wait for... Uh, freaking too hard. Oh, silly, there's an uh, armor attacking us, apparently. Alright, no he's not. He goes back to us. Let's just miss this guy until he... You open the Imperial Weapon Seal from the, the Geneva EXP boots. That's cool, okay. <laughs> there is a Shaman attacking us though, which I'm trying to alter my camera, but it, it's not. The armor is attacking someone. Oh, it is now, yeah. Armor got fucked up. That's very good. Damn it! I hate these two hour abilities. The paladin one and the thief one are annoying. I think it's thief that makes everyone mess for a while, right? Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, oh, I haven't like played main thief in a while. Yeah, like, I know that, uh, the, uh, Paladin one is the one that makes you everything do zero damage for a while. Uh, Return of Steam is good! Uh, do you have any plans to continue on, or...? Or are you going to advance into a different series? Necromancer got fucked. He's got him armor and his two hour ability. What's your next series gonna be about? I haven't really decided what I want to use my unity points on yet because I still don't fully understand what I should be doing with them. Though I have a better idea now because of your video. I just still doesn't, don't know exactly what I should be. I don't have a map for here. Only five in-game hours to go, silly. Excellent. Does it leave us enough time to do one cutscene? That's okay, though. As long as we get it out of the way, it's all good. More goblins. 
Let's see if we can skip by these ones. Let's see if we can find a, uh, a rare. Silly's got the copy of Genuva's Battle Theory. Oh, okay, they're EXP books. That's that's what you were talking about. Gotcha. Jobs, how they were chosen, and where they came from. That's a good. That's a good one. If you're into FF14, I think a lot of people would like to hear uh, the, the the history and lore behind uh, the FF14 jobs too. Especially with the advent of new jobs being created for the next expansion, which I believe is called Stormblood. Although I'm not sure if that's just a working title or the permanent title. All the uh, armor pieces from Unity are 119. Do you know where the vendor is for that? Is that the one in Southern Sandoria? Mr. Well Digger. You're about to get your face smashed. And it missed. Fuck. Mm. As are the weapons. You don't need to use the vendor, you already started Unity. Okay, so how do I spend them then? Because Silly could potentially buy a better weapon like he's been looking for. Yeah. That was a waste of TP. Aww. I'll fight the alchemist, you get the necromancer. Okay, you get the alchemist too. Just go to the record of enemies, accept the record of enemies, and fight. Oh, okay. Fight the notorious monster. Okay, so that's what you mean. Alright, alright. That's that's good then. Four more in-game hours. Let's go till 22 and then we'll teleport back to uh, the Von Krull in that's silly. Okay. Or not Von Krull, Gus Grauberg, because that's where we gotta be. And okay. we'll, it'll take like the last two hours to run back. There's somebody else here. Yeah. Fight the pit fighter. I think this guy has dangerous two hour too that like sucks. The pit fighter? Maybe not. I think he uses one hundred fists. Yeah. Which he just did use actually. <laughs> Almost every area has an NM there. Okay, are they overly difficult? Like, is it something that a 99 would have trouble with? Or, like, do you recommend using, um, trusts for them? This guy's just, like, mobbing, I guess. Okay, so I get it, I get it. Unity fights use the points. Awesome. That makes using them uh, have a point. After we kill these two goblins, let's uh, hearth or warp. warp. Dead. They range from 119 to 145. Alright, cool. Excellent, thank you for that, uh, Algami. Because I actually have a 119 weapon, I just need 50, uh, 
job points to use it, and I'm currently at 36. Silly's not quite as far as I am. No. Miss, 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 miss. There you go. Okay. Damn it, now the Hitman is after us. Damn it, Hitman. Okay. Alright. Items, warp ring. Oh, something else is me. That statue is hitting. Uh. Wasn't too tough. Yeah, okay. I know Silly and I did um, an ambuscade uh, together that ended up going pretty well. <laughs> Silly, read the chat in the yeah. in game. Hello again, Toon Log. Yeah, Silly and I hopped into Ambuscade and uh, had some fun there. What am I looking for? It says the Vanguard Hitman cast Jubaku Ni. Silly is paralyzed. Oh. <laughs> Just as you teleported, you got paralyzed. <laughs> Alright, let's nice. go to Northern Sandoria. Oh. So as you saw earlier, FF11 has a lot of running around, but uh, we actually were doing something that we found, or at least I found, very interesting. In the, uh, we were getting the, gathering the memories of one of the characters that got eaten by Atomos uh, in an earlier uh, stream, earlier part of the story. Oops. So, so we're going to be teleport teleporting to uh, Graberg again. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they insist on sending us here, but whatever. And that is in the Gustaberg front. Graberg, yes. I actually wonder if North Gustaberg might be closer. I don't think it is. So I will meet you there and we will mount up. But yeah, okay, so. Uh, Silly and I'll take a look at some of these Unity monsters and we'll take them down and hopefully get uh, him a new dagger. Yeah. And Higa Montoya just came by. Well, they need to calm down. I do possess a map of that Gus Grauberg, you sack of shit. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna make our way all the way over to Witchfire Glen again. I don't care about else. Is it Graberg South? Yep. Okay, that's what I thought. There is no Graberg uh, in the future. It says you. What do you know? I. What? Oh, Gwarsh, what do I know? What do you know, you big peluca? Orsh, what do I know? Good old Kingdom Hearts. The Scorpion Harness, 119 Vernish version. I actually think I'm wearing a 119 armor. Yep. Alright, let's head on over. The long run is ahead of us. But, fortunately, by the time we get there, the game day will have shift shifted over. It's great for multiple jobs. That's good. Uh, Silly and I are probably not going to be leveling multiple jobs to 99. Not yet. 
I know I intend to level every job to 50, uh, because for my YouTube channel I'm going to be recording all of the uh, relic, relic or artifact, artifact, whatever one uh, is the level 50 gear. Except Silly's going to be doing Monk uh, and Warrior and Red Mage. That'll be good. It'll be good. I tried, I leveled Dark Knight a little bit, got it to level 15. Uh, that was an interesting job to play around with. Speaking of all the jobs, I was talking to Pacamet about uh, Final Fantasy Explorers and like how I like the idea and the concept, but I wish they had a game like that, but on PS4, and all jobs didn't play similarly, they were their own thing. Mm -hmm. And you guys just, you know, go out and level a character and do cool things, and yeah. Like ninjas, they fight like death in Darksiders too. That's what I would like to see. Because, yeah, having it on handheld is cool and all, but uh, having it on the PS4 where the graphics would be fucking awesome, or even better, the PS5 when that comes out. PS9. PS9. It'd be funny if they just skip over the PS5 to the PS6 as a marketing campaign. Yeah. It was so good they skipped the 5. Guess what's silly? It is the next game day. And we don't have to equip, unequip our weapons this time, apparently. That's good. We just gotta get to the vertical conflux and we're there. There it is! I can almost see it. No, that's a tree that I got stuck on. Stop. Don't get stuck on trees. Well, you were pretty far distance behind me. Yeah. Do mage. What? There's a do mage somewhere. There you go. Ready? Yeah. Impeccable timing as ever, Miro. I have dire need of your ample tracking powers. Your not inconsiderable fetching abilities. The punch bug. You must help me catch it. Bring it back. What do you want to say? Um, punch bug? Hey. Right. It's a rather embarrassing tale to recount. We'll never live it down. The punch bug escaped my grasp, you see, when I instinctively pounced upon a fat, juicy rodent, only to discover it was a round gray stone. An unpalatable rock! There's no time to explain the punch bag's inner working. 
but trust me when I say that the future depends on our retrieving it, reclaiming possession. I beg of you, Miro, you must help me catch it, bring it back. You can count on me. The punch bag is fond of dark, damp places. Cramped, moist environs. I've been calling it a punch bag. It can't have gotten far away yet. Should still be near. I shall focus my search hereabouts. I would appreciate it if you could scour the partial marshlands. Get down and dirty in mud. So, fun fact, I have already uh, gotten us to hunt this. Excellent. So you should have it. Turn to grab our gas and trade the pun to. Okay, so we gotta trade it to this. Make sure you have it before I trade it. Yeah, right. Me... Hey, I got an Argus punch gown. Punch bug. Yep, I've got it. Okay, so we're going to hit trade. That's some weird character design for the cat. That's yeah, Kate's sister design in this game. You did it, Miro. Recovered that which we lost. We. Without ado, I shall pick things up where I left off. Carry on as if nothing happened. So take this here, slip it in like so. <laughs> Ta-da! It's finally complete. Unfinished, no more. Miro, I want you to take this with you. Keep it on your person. It's a bottled punch bug. Our secret weapon against the enemy. Our trump card. Ever since we were reft of Lilliset, your reality has slowly but surely been fading away. Unless we take preventative measures, and with due haste, Atomos will continue to devour the brighter future without abandon, until nothing remains. Picked clean to the last memory orb. I'm pondering possible courses of action. Something occurred to me. Come to mind. What if we were to harness the power of the brighter future, that of your memories and experiences to aid in the fight? Improve the odds. The bottle punch bug will serve as the channel that grants you access to that power. A bridge of sorts. Through it, you should be able to amplify your strength, if only temporarily, for a wee while. Truth to tell, its usage would be frowned upon as a violation of the natural order, but we don't have the luxury of dwelling on that fine print, fretting over inconvenient details. I had said it before and I'll say it again. The reality once you came is no illusion, not make-believe. Come what may, you must ever keep faith in the truth that you wish to be, the world whose survival you desire. Let's go, Miro. Strike out. Destiny awaits us at the crossroads of reality and time, the Walk of Echoes. We go to settle the score and reclaim the future. Rescue Lilliset. Excellent. Alright, so we got the bottled punch bug. All right, so um, unfortunately the next little bit has a few cutscenes and I don't know how long they're going to be. And it's also got a fight. Usually after a fight, <laughs> they... Yeah. So we'll have a dramatic next week. So that's where we're going to start next week, is we got to run back here again. So we'll probably start through the stream at this location. Okay. And then uh, we will do that. So everyone, that's going to be it for Final Fantasy XI. Um, we had a, I, well, at least I had a, hey, there's Nurse Joy. Anyway, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I'm really happy Silly was able to make it to today's stream because I've been wanting to progress in this and finish off Wings of the Goddess. And we're really close. We're about to start mission 45 out of 54. 
So if you're interested in seeing more of this story and us progressing into the next uh, chapter of FF11 once we are done, Wings of Goddess, uh, please tune in 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. every Sunday, EST. Um, feel free to talk in the chat. We always like to talk to you and uh, converse with you. Uh, you don't need to be worried about anything. Um, mm -hmm. On Monday, 12.30 to 2.30 p.m., I'm playing Dragon Quest IV for the DS. Uh, so if you'd like to see that, uh, it's there. Fridays, I do Dying Light with some friends in real life uh, at 8 p.m. EST. And on Saturdays, I normally do Final Fantasy XIV from uh, 2 to 5 p.m., but uh, next weekend, I will not be as I have things to do in real life. That's it, everyone. Thank you very much for viewing. I will see you tomorrow if you stop by the stream. Have a good one. Here's a job. Bye-bye.